Shots fired, shots fired, shots fired, move. Right, right, right. Push it LPVO. Push it LPVO. Go right. Move, move. Watch out, watch out. Move. Stop moving. Stop moving. Watch left, watch left. Suspect down, suspect down. Some of the footage right there, the national police officers uh, acting as heroes, uh, saving lives, clearly taking down transgender mass murderer Audrey Hale. Uh, Hale, a biological female who identifies as a male, broke into a Christian school to find children and kill them, ultimately killing three school employees as well as three children. And joining us now, Tennessee Republican representative and member of the House Foreign Affairs Committee, Tim Burchett. Uh, Congressman, thanks for being with us. Obviously, this is your home state, and I understand that you have lived in Nashville. Your reaction? Just horrific. Um... I feel grief for the families involved, and uh, this is just not an easy time for anybody. Yeah, and I, unfortunately, we've seen this uh, time and again. I, I will say one thing. Uh, I lived in Nashville for 10 years. I am proud of the police officers there for the work that they did. I'm sure you are as well. Oh, my gosh, yes. They, brave, brave individuals. They are the true heroes in all of this. They put their lives in harm's way to save untold others. I know that they um, <clears throat> they had a very good evacuation plan there when it all, they locked down, of course. But again, if someone wants to take you out um, and doesn't mind losing their life, it's it can be, become very difficult, very difficult indeed. Uh, also want to move on to this one. Uh, ye yesterday on the U.S.-Mexico border in Juarez, Mexico, migrants fearing deportation set mattresses ablaze at an immigration detention center starting a fire that left 39 dead. Uh, it seems like the border, si border situation continues to get worse, as we heard uh, even Alejandro Mayorkas today showing that he really doesn't know some basic things about what's actually going on at our border. I think he does know what's going on. He's just lying. Um, mm -hmm. He needs to go. This is just another representative of this failed administration. Um, I, I'm at a loss every time I hear him speak. He's very smooth, and uh, he always has plausible deniability. I've been to the border. They talked about the day, you know, that they had a thousand Guatemalans coming across, and um, and the little spot I was in, they said they can get a thing or they can get a, you know, a thousand a day come through there. And the facility costs $16 million a month to run to process these people. It's a, it's a complete nightmare. It's a complete capitulation. Um, I'm afraid we're being run by anarchists. There's no other reason for it. They allow the fentanyl and everything else to come in, the child traffickers, um, and yet they will not stop it when they could. Right. Uh, Congressman, we're just about out of time, but but just based on what you said there, you thought that Mayorkas was lying. So are you saying you think this is it, intentional ignorance? And, and if so, if you could just give us a, a brief response why you think that is the case. Again, we're short on time, but wanted to get your thoughts. Yes, ma'am. Uh, 100% he's lying. He, know, he has the facts. He has every asset at his disposal, yet he continues to spread this lie that we're in control of the border. He is a liar, ma'am. There's no, it's a hard word to call somebody, but it's the truth. And I think everybody knows it. All right. Uh, Representative Tim Burchett, thank you very much, sir.